How was your time with Ames? Enjoyable. Oh, come on. That's the real story. <laughs> Briefly, the first thing I think I learned at Ames, I call it deadline. <laughs> yeah, lots of pressure. I've never experienced pressure like this before. Am I going to survive or not? I was very not, I'm not, not sure. We had to change the abbreviation from African Institute of Mathematical Sciences to African Institute of Minimum Sleeping. Most especially when our research which is coming to an end, at times you see yourself going to bed around 6 a.m. in the morning. You walk all through the night. Because almost everything at Ames is programmed and you must meet deadlines. If, if you can't do that, you can't succeed. The most challenging part is first the English. The English? It's the first time that I study with English. But uh, the thing which makes it easier is all of us, uh, all of us uh, speak mathematics, so yeah. Getting used to the new environment, new people, new cultures. Living your loved one. Everything was new for, for me. It's totally different from what I've experienced. What I enjoyed most about AIMS is the quality of the lecturers, the interaction, the level of interaction between the lecturers and the students. They didn't teach how to get the answer, but rather how to think about solving the problem. How to work independently and uh, with groups. The availability of lecturers, the availability of tutors to discuss questions, not only as if you were just to pass exams, but to understand the depth, to get an in-depth understanding of the concept was what really pleased me the most. There are very few ladies who continue with mathematics, but the lecturers kept encouraging us to keep on working hard. Uh, professor told me, uh, you are a star. <laughs> One lecturer once said that we are the future of Africa, so that's really touched me. Uh, one thing that I'll never forget about AIMS is the opportunities that they, they, they gave me to meet different people. That I'm able to find a place to go next after AIMS. That was actually amazing to me. The lecturers from all over the world comes around, they tell us whenever you are here and you are around, wherever we are, you can just Call on us, beckon on us, and we'll be there to assist you. So, AIMS has set that platform for each and every one of us. But people were encouraging each other, so it was very nice. Together as one big family, it's quite interesting. Different religion, different views, different state of life, but yesterday we see each other as friends, brothers, and sisters. And the way we get to go on with each other is quite amazing. Most important thing is diversity in mathematics, in culture. You learn to accommodate people. You learn how to deal with people, their emotions, their feelings, their culture and all that. So it makes you to be a better person. This is my new family. You can't come to your aims and go back to your country and you say you remain the same because there has been so many transformations that has taken place. I feel more confident than I was at the beginning. So ready to face the challenges, the future challenges. Ames has groomed me. Would you do it again, this journey? Yes, I will. If I were to do it again, I would do it again. And I'll miss it very much.